Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Oh, I, I can't transform this close, I just remember. Uh, what you want to do here is get into human form, Although, otherwise this will happen, because I'll, I'll just show it for the heck of it here, because you'll get close to her and she'll be like, Hmm, what's this? You seem pretty cozy with people for a while. Well, if you don't want to wind up as a rug, you better scat. Shoo! Well, fine then. And that won't let you trigger the event that needs to unlock the Iza's River Rapids ride thingy. So, you want to be... What, really? Are you serious? How about here? Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, so you want to be a human. Which makes this fight a little bit unique. Well, I'll talk to her again. Hmm, a customer? Sorry, but we're temporarily closed. Oh, okay, I just, I'll just leave here then. Oh, jeez, yeah, it's one of these fights. I probably should have unlocked this earlier to give you, like, a warp point back to this spot, but since it corresponds with unlocking Iza's Rapids Ride minigame, I thought, eh, I'll just do it all in one video so it makes sense. <laughs> you know, I don't want to split up the events here. Ah, don't worry, it'll be fine. So, I gotta get them all together, or, you know, I can just do it like that, that this works as well. There isn't that many of them, actually. Uh, okay, I'll just go over by these two and start spin attacking. Come on, you, over here. No, oh, Did that work? Okay, that's good enough. See, the, the the unique part of this fight is that you can't be a wolf as you do this, because, you know, you can't transform in front of humans and whatnot, so... Yeah, you gotta do it with ye old spin attack, or by grouping them together and just slashing them. It's easy, I fought like 80 of them, but I mean, no, never mind, no, nothing ever happened like that before. <laughs> okay, let's go! So, and she takes us inside. If you wanna leave, just use the door and you can come back in any time. Obviously. <laughs> No, really? Oh, you're welcome. Oh, poop. So, we gotta do something about that. Mm, yeah, I'll help. Although those dot dot dots really are tempting. <laughs> I think I know what I could do. Yeah, she hints at it right there. So, I will do the bomb and arrow combo. And what's in these pots? I just like to... Oh, some hearts. I guess if you need them. Uh, let's just take a look-see around here for the fun of it. Nothing all that special. Okay. <laughs> so from here... Oops. Selected, of course. And break her apart. So there we go. Voila! Unfortunately, though, there's more downstream. So, we gotta do something about that. And part one of the minigame begins! Awesome! And yeah, you get a bomb bag for doing this, so... Definitely worth doing it. And there's gonna be a second minigame coming here. You just steer it with the uh, control stick. Nothing special. Whoa! Uh, we've gotta watch out for the rapids, because, you know, this is a rapids ride after all. So, on your way down, be on the lookout for rocks and stuff along- oof. And stuff along the way like that. See what I did there? I broke it apart using the bomb arrow. Uh, bomb arrows are a little bit heavier than regular arrows, so at times you might have to aim a little bit higher... Can I... I can't break that apart, can I? Well, I just go right over it anyway. <laughs> uh, this is the stuff that I can break apart. But yeah, bomb arrows are a little bit heavier than normal arrows, so... What you gotta do is sometimes aim higher than you would normally, and then let it arc down to whatever you're shooting at, if you're not close enough, of course. That's especially crucial for the second part of this minigame tour here. By the way, the music is very beautiful. Ah, oh, so serene. So gorgeous. Just look at this scene. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> rapids ride! I forgot I was on a rapids ride! No, really, I didn't. <laughs> and here is our guide. The part-timer. <laughs> yeah, it's Azora. Mmm, that's no big deal, I suppose. 
God, I've been doing that the whole way here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, by the way, you can slow down by uh, shifting your weight, well not shifting your weight, by turning your bolt to the side. And that really, really helps in some situations, so if you have enough time to shoot certain things. But I've been doing a pretty decent job of being able to do this on my own so far, and I'm overturning though. <laughs> and just follow. Oh, oh, no, 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 I'll poop. <laughs> well, that worked out. And uh, I've really got to get the hang of this before I do the second part of this. Because as I said in the other part, I'm not very good at the Iza's Rapids Ride minigame. And that is because it's kind of tricky to control this, and you're going to have to shoot at pots a little bit later. Right, maybe I should be collecting groupies on my way down! Ow! <laughs> good thing I cannot tip. So... Eh. <laughs> eh. Eh. Yeah, I definitely should get the hang of this. Hopefully I'll have enough of a hang of it before I go down the second route through here. Uh, and uh, on the second part of this, you're going to have to shoot 25 points worth of pots in order to get the bomb bag upgrades. And there's only like 30 points worth of them along the way, so it's like, oh poop. <laughs> I should really aim for the larger openings, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. I think I missed the other one, but whatever. It's, it's kind of tricky to get the, the feel of the flow, because each each part of this river has its own feel to it, because of this, its speed and whatnot. I can blow all that up, can't I? Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering. Come on. Come on! And we are almost there. Oh, and now I realize why I couldn't shoot that other thing that was flowing down the river river way, way, way back at the beginning because I, it was something that I already shot, actually. So, yeah. Don't know how I didn't notice that, but whatever. Alright, we are back at Lake Hylia, but that's no big deal because we can just warp back over to uh, Upper Zora's River after this to do the second part of this. And oh boy, is it... It's not going to be pretty, because if I hit a wall on the on the pop portion of this minigame, I actually lose a point, so... Yeah! <laughs> That's why I've got to be extra careful and really get the hang of this. Awesome! <laughs> I guess it runs in the family. Remember, she's related to Koro and the uh, fishing girl... So I guess the bomb bag was a bribe of sorts. But that is a bribe I will happily accept. This I will do, but... What I'm gonna do is go back to Barnes Bomb Shop, actually, and go buy those... Can I warp here? I can warp here, right? Yeah, I can warp here. And go back to buy those um, bomblings because now that I have three bomb bags, I can have one of each kind of bomb. There's only three kinds of bombs in the game, and there's three different kinds of bomb bags. So I thought, hey, for the walkthrough, why not have all three of them at the same time? It's optional to do this, but it's like, yeah, I'm sure, what the heck. <laughs> and we're warping to Kakariko again. What is this craziness? <laughs> I had to say that. Okay, so it's moving along, moving along, going, eventually rolling through the dusty streets. And we made it. I don't know which bomb he's gonna... I mean, I, mean, I don't know which bomb type he's gonna ask me to take to get the bomblings. I hope I can have all three at the same time. I'm pretty sure I can. Yes, indeedy. Yeehaw! Alright, I will take these. Alright, oh, that's... forgot about that. Because he apparently has two counters. One, one side he wears a mask, the other one he doesn't, and the side he wears the mask is the one he takes the bombs back. Uh, 
I don't know. Oh, okay. I was gonna say it's, it seems kind of odd to uh, not be able to pick which kind of bomb bag. Okay. Whew. <laughs> and there we go. I will buy the ten. I believe ten is the max. Let's just see in our inventory here. Yes. See when the the number is yellow. That means you're maxed out on the number. Okay, so I'm gonna put that under B, and I'm gonna demonstrate to you what these critters are like. You know how bomb chews are in uh, Ocarina of Time? They're quite similar to those, only they're more expensive. Look at it go! <laughs> and they, they, they don't seem to be able to climb walls. They just keep going until they hit a wall, and then they explode. Let's, let's blow up this Goron for the heck of it. Because <laughs> you know why not. Whoop. Dang it, he's invincible. <laughs> what do you have to say about me blowing you up? I guess you don't feel anything whatsoever. No. <laughs> but I will warp out of town once I hide over here. And I will see you back over at the Upper Zora's River. I'm gonna... Uh, save my game here before I do this second part. I can tell you already, this is not going to go well. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to transform back into a human because she is now inside the house. And you'll notice that there's some pots up on top of there. Those are the kinds of pots that we will be shooting, actually. Is it? Oops, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I do that. Can I shoot these? Nah, I didn't think I'd be able to shoot those. Unless something's in my way. Hmm. Because they're, they're decoration pots. Just thought I would try that for the fun of it. Alright, now that the place has been unplugged. Thank you, Miss Briver. Can I shoot this? No, dang it. <laughs> I know I can break these though, to get my frustrations out. Okay, I'm gonna chat with her because I want to rent a bolt. And yeah, it's 20 rupees per rental, which is why I saved the game before I started here. All right, let's get this started. See at the bottom right corner there, there's a bunch of pots. Well, <laughs> there's not a bunch of pots there yet, but that's your counter. Yellow ones are worth one, red ones are worth two. Oh, this is not gonna be pretty. <laughs> and I can't hit the walls up too much, otherwise I'll lose too many points, and I won't make the quota of 25. Oh, there's the first one. Remember to aim above the pots that you're shooting at if you're from a distance, otherwise you might not have enough time to shoot them if you keep shooting them if you're really close to them. Yeah, let's just try like that. Good. Very good. Don't hit the wall. Don't, no, please. Dear God, no. <laughs> I hope I have enough feel for this to get through it. Oh, jeez. I'm so frightened. <laughs> that one's coming up. Just look ahead where you're going. Aim for where you want to go. And there's a red one coming up. Don't hit the wall. Oh, yeah. Looking good, actually. I'm, I'm kind of surprised because... You have to go in between first-person shooter mode, well, it's more like third-person shooter, and uh, rowing the boat, otherwise, you know, you'll hit the wall. But the, the way the game is set up, it gives you opportunities to get into first-person shooter mode. <laughs> third-person shooter mode, dang it. Uh, shoot! Shoot, shoot, shoot! Oh, no, no! Oh, I got it somehow. Uh, Miss shots, I, I, and don't, they don't affect your score, so don't really worry about that too much. Not high enough. Come on. Come on. Yes! Looking pretty dang good. Oh, and I believe if you get over... Oh, no, 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 no! If you get over... Uh, um, I believe if you get 30, and I think that's the max, you'll get 100 rupees, but I'm only aiming for the bomb bag upgrade here, because I know I'll be able to get a crap ton of rupees from other places. Hopefully I didn't miss any pots, but otherwise my... Oh, jeez! 
of my runs been pretty decent. I I'll go this way. I don't. I don't mind going this way. I guess. <laughs> no. Oh, see what I mean about my counter going down. Oh no. Oh no. Panic. Panic to the max. Okay. I, I guess that's not that bad. So I only lost two. Ooh, got it. Just gotta keep looking ahead. Just keep myself steady along the way. Good, good, good. Should I break that apart? No, wait, I can't break that apart. Don't touch the wall! <laughs> nope, not close enough for that one. I jumped the gun there. Calm down, even though it's gonna get faster. Just take your shot one pot at a time. 20, no! Jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, no, don't. Okay, that's the slowdown technique that I told you about earlier if you need to. Okay, I think I've got this. I just can't hit the wall more than once before I get down, down, to, the end of, down to the end of this. And yeah, I actually got it. Oh, I am pleased. <laughs> yeah, see, I think the max is 30. I haven't seen any more pots along the way there. Whew. That was awesome. I am very pleased by that. Whee! And now I will get my bomb bag upgrade. Via our part-time friend here. You're welcome. Prize, please. See, 25 points is the threshold. I believe it doubles your capacity of each kind of bomb, actually. Let's look in our inventory. I, I'm, I think it auto-fills them up. Oops. Uh, no, it doesn't auto-fill them up. Curses! Well, there you go. Now you see you can have more than 30 bombs because, you know, it's, it's not in gold lettering to say that you're full of them. And, uh, yeah! I am very pleased by that. And I think that's all I'm going to be doing in this part, because I did, uh... I I'm going to take this successful run and just be very happy with it. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.